Thank you so much. You know, I, I always say I never like to follow pastors, and I surely don't like to follow United States Senators. As you can all see. Um, before I say a few words, like I said, 14 pages of them, um, I, I, I want to just talk really briefly about um, what just happened. And if those can remember, those here that can remember what it was like eight years ago when, when we first took office, the, um, the rhetoric that took place in our community um, was one of division, um, was our uh, immigrant community uh, unsure of, of implement, implementation of uh, federal guidelines like 287G. Um, and it was not a, a cohesive, community that has come together like we see today. But let me say one thing. Boy, have we come a long way. Stand up. Because it is very emotional when you think about it, where, where we were eight years ago. Um, we had white supremacists marching out of town, speaking across from our town hall. Uh, other administrations that wanted to implement uh, laws that affected how people live. And, and now we deal it on a national uh, level. And that's why we're so grateful we have the leadership of the United States Board of uh, especially here in our community. Let's give them another round of applause. I come up and speak about our community, and, and obviously this is the third time being elected mayor, it still is very emotional. Um, I, I think the day that it's not emotional and I don't get charged and I don't feel an overwhelming feeling of uh, commitment to this community is the day that I'll step aside um, and no longer be your mayor. But I can tell you that, that when I hear the words echoed by our senator, um, and the commitment that is shown not only by my administration, but by this council, um, it, it, it makes me feel really proud to, to call home Mars time to be here with this community. I thank all of you for what you do and your commitment to our community. You can clap. So, I'll, I'll try to be brief, because we know the senator has to go, but I have a quote here from the senator, so I want to at least hear though. We're now quoting. Uh, Cory Booker and, and Morris now, um, I am honored to be standing here um, before you today. It is a testament of what we, as a community, have been able to accomplish. You have trusted this administration and we will not let you down. As we begin a new year, I'd like to take a few minutes to reflect what 2017 was and the, uh, how eventful it was. My administration's primary objective is to protect and improve the quality of life in the town of Morristown. The efforts we have put forth to enhance and preserve that goal. In 2017, we started and completed several capital improvement projects, including streetscape beautification on Washington Street, Martin Luther King Avenue, our open space, Clayton Woods Park. Construction is nearing completion, and after this cold weather breaks, we'll get back to finishing that. The improvements at Granby Park, the upcoming improvements at Caldwell Park, um, which I think are important that we, we stay very focused on the, what the community needs, which is a, it's a good park system, uh, good quality of life, good streetscapes. I think when people see the community and the government investing in their community, I think it makes people feel part of, and I think it, it gives them the opportunity to want to be more part of what goes on here in Morristown. My administration remains committed to providing necessary affordable housing living units in town, and this plan ensures will continue to happen. Last year, we finalized Morristown's first, first ever affordable housing plan. As part of this effort, Habitat for Humanity completed 10 new houses in 2017, furthering our total number of affordable housing units. In recognition of our commitment to affordable housing, Morristown earned two prestigious awards. The first from Marstown Habitat for Humanity as the 2017 Municipal Partner Award, and the second was from the Housing and Community Development Network of the State of New Jersey 2017 Outstanding Municipal Partner in New Development, and that 
That project was the Mount Kimball House Project for Homeless Solutions. Needless to say, we are very proud of our efforts and have been acknowledged by two champions of affordable housing. Thank you for being our partner in this important effort. In 2017, we initiated the most comprehensive traffic study Marstown has ever undertaken. And we all know what it's like to move through Marstown in the morning rush hour and the evening rush hour. Well, it's going to be very interesting when all this data comes out to the public and we have the back and forth on, on the solutions to what we think is going to help in the future of Morristown. The year-long process has an analyzed Morristown's mobility patterns and improvement needs. With the end goal of relieving congestion, improving safety, and developing strategies for future growth, it is not just aimed at enhancing convenience and travel times, but will benefit Morristown residents and visitors today and into the future reducing congestion and improving safety for pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers. The results of this study will serve as a blueprint for our infrastructure improvements that will allow our community to continue to thrive and to be the location of choice for businesses and residents alike. We will have public presentations on the findings early this year. Morristown finalized our complete streets program and was recognized by the New Jersey Department of Transportation. Complete Streets Excellent Award for the outstanding efforts in implementing those complete streets and making streets safer for everyone. Speaking on traffic and mobility, the past summer, New Jersey Transit put many of our residents in a tough pond. When we scheduled, scheduled meetings for the track, we all remember all the news articles and the press conferences of what was going to call it summer from hell. It turned out to be not so bad, and they kind of organized. Transit did a good job. Um, with the Morris and Essex line. The town partnered with a group called Skedaddle, which provided bus service from Morristown train station to Midtown Manhattan and provided alternative services for our commuters. For in-town transportation needs, we also expanded, which is a very hot topic, as the council will hear this year, is the Colonial Coach added Saturdays to the ground and we will be embarking on a new Colonial Coach um, this year, so we're very excited about that. Last year, we began the process of presenting to the public and soliciting feedback from our first draft of the, the form-based zoning code. Form-based zoning code is the next step in establishing a desired community to form the development, to form by illustrating the community's vision, creating predictable outcomes, enhancing community character, and allowing for market flexibility. We anticipate additional public engagement and council introduction by the spring of this year. Marstown continues to work towards sustainable uh, sustainability through a number of programs. This November, we were recognized when Marstown received its silver certification from Sustainable Jersey, the highest level of certification available. I personally want to thank all of those uh, from our sustainable group in Marstown on the hard work that they have done, and they really deserve a round of applause for that. Is a In addition, Marstown also earned New Jersey Smart Workplaces Gold Level status. This prestigious New Jersey Smart Workplace program, sponsored by the North Jersey Transportation Planning Authority and implemented in northwestern New Jersey by TransOptions, recognizes employers for promoting sustainable transportation and commuting alternatives for their employees. In partnership with the Mayor's Environmental Commission and other local organizations, we remain committed to sustainability practices and policies. While the U.S. withdrew from the Paris Climate Agreement, we chose to make a difference at a local level. I'd like to thank the Council in joining me for the support of the Mayor's National Climate Action Agenda and committing to working together to strengthen local efforts for reducing greenhouse gas emissions and supporting efforts in binding federal and global level policy making. Without elaborating too much on the upcoming 2018 budget, I do want to mention that in 2017, due to sound physical planning, we were able to hold the line on municipal taxes with a 0% increase for the seventh straight year. While continuing to improve municipal services and well-maintained revenues, Marstown is on solid financial footing with, a sta with stable revenues and a healthy surplus. A far cry from where we were when I first became mayor eight years ago. Adding to our efforts, in 2017, we received almost $3 million in grants, including, which I think is very important for all the hard work our police and fire do, 
30,000 from FEMA to reimburse us for our president's travel. We, we do, Senator, get President Trump uh, heading to his golf course on occasion. I don't think he'll be up here in this cold, um, but I think he did make a comment about wishing global warming on the Northeast, something like that, I read in one of his tweets. Um, so so we, uh, we will continue to work uh, very hard with uh, our, our Congress congressional office to make sure that we get uh, reimbursed for any of uh, the police activity we have to deal with with our president coming to through our community and our airport. I think everyone notices how healthy and vibrant our downtown is, and we witnessed the opening of many new businesses. Uh, the law firm of Fox Rothschild uh, moved in with a beautiful new building on Market and Bank. It seems that year after year we have so many great businesses moving into Morristown and wanting to present a warm presence in our, in, our in our downtown. With such a vibrant downtown comes many successful events and activities. We have so many groups that like, like to host events in Morristown, from running races to staples, like the Christmas Festival, First Night Mars, which was last night, which was well attended even though it was like minus six with the wind. St. Patrick's Day Parade, which I think is the best in the state. Cops and Rodders, which is an amazing uh, hot car, muscle car show that we have in downtown Mars, I like to thank the police department for putting that on. The Grand Fondo, which is our super cycle race that was, we think we're the biggest on the East Coast now. And let's not forget Oak Festival, and the Mayor's Morristown Jazz and Blues Festival. It's had the largest crowd this year. So we'll put a first recommendation for the center to come to our festival. Our Jazz and Blues Festival is, is, uh, is an amazing event, as all our events are. Grand Fondo, they would love for you to ride in that. Our book festival is, is, uh, is just taken off uh, to be recognized. Um, I can't remember, does anybody off the top of the head remember how many authors we have? Forty. A lot. Forty. <laughs> a lot. And they were best-selling authors. It was amazing how, how that what took place with that, and they've done a great job. And it's no con con coincidence that Morristown also received the New Jersey chapter of the American Planning Association in 2017 as great downtown destination. That's a great award for the American Planning Association to have that label on our downtown, and soon I think you'll see a banner going across somewhere to recognize that the effort of all the different organizations, from the partnership to the parking authority to our governing body, to all the volunteer agencies that work in Morristown has made this an amazing downtown and we got the award for, for them to recognize how great our community is and how, how well our downtown is doing. Um, I can't uh, not talk about the Mayo Performing Arts Center. Um, throughout the year, it uh, just, it, it laws as a model of success for the state. Um, because of all the shows they do and what they bring to our community. Uh, and it's, it's to be uh, applauded and, and honored to, to, to be a part of that whole art scene that has happened in our downtown. I know there's no representative here from Performing Arts, but they add such a level of uh, art to our community that we are very grateful that that has turned to be one of the premier Performing Arts uh, theaters in the state. Um, Morristown has also allowed it throughout the, the, the state towards success um, because of the commitment on um, the efforts of the administration, uh, my business administrator, Jillian Barrick, our uh, director of law, Vich Poir, um, all the directors that, that put this together as administration, and of course, nothing is possible without the support and the commitment and the input from our town council. Uh, Smart Growth continues to be my administration's approach, and we will look at each and every project in that manner. Our deliberate and detailed approach to redevelopment led to the approval of two projects that will take place uh, to replace a couple of eyesore buildings on Market Street. A new boutique hotel, this is interesting, and, the, uh, and, and that's going to be on Upper Market Street, and a new residential mixed-use building next to Fox Road Child should both break ground in 2018. In addition, residents should begin moving into the new building on DeHart Street, and that is the last phase of the X, X, F signs rehabilitation uh, with 40 Park Metropolitan, and this is the last phase that you see on the Hart Street, <coughs> excuse me, the Hart Street, uh, and you also have the townhouses that went up on Maple. Um, so that will be a, finally a completed project since 2006 or 2007. Um, so we're very excited to have that uh, come to a close, and very grateful for the for the amount of uh, investment um, that we gave to our community at a time 
where the senator talked about uh, our economy uh, was going down, they invested in our community and we rose up. So we're very grateful for uh, Carl Goldberg, Goldberg and his group, uh, Rose, uh, Rosewood, and now a different name uh, for their investment into our community. To that end, and I don't like to speak about anything I get personally, but I was honored as a 2017 Individual Excellence Award for, award for downtown New Jersey. But I think the award is more representative of the commitment and dedication um, to smart growth and development of every member of the administration working on development. So I'd like to give them a round of applause because it really takes a lot of home to a diverse community, and it's the source, source of our strength and pride. In 2017, and I'm getting close, it, it, only a couple more pages, so bear with me. In 2017, we implemented several policies, not only to promote our diversity, but ensure that all residents can live and pursue their livelihoods in prosperity. The past summer, we implemented the town's first ever municipal ID program uh, for all Morristown residents. The ID program which serves as an important tool for residents to be able to access critical services, benefits, and more has been a rousing success. To date, over 400 residents have come in for the municipal cards and have been issued uh, from all parts of the community. With the town council, we formally declared Morristown as a fair and welcoming community. The destination, designation should improve Public safety by encourage residents who may be hesitant to cooperate with law enforcement. I really believe this demonstration of inclusion of our immigrant, immigrant community will only strengthen the character of our town. I want to take this opportunity again to thank the town council for its immigration advocate and our immigration advocates and our local clergy for helping make this resolution a reality. Thank you, town council. Furthering our goal to improve quality of life for all, Morristown adopted a sick leave ordinance, which provides paid sick leave benefits to all full-time workers, which protects the public from illness, but more importantly, allows a worker to take time uh, to care for themselves, or a sick child, or a sick parent, without being concerned about lost wages or losing their jobs. We also enacted the New Jersey's first safe place program, this program is designed to protect members of the LGBTQ community from hate crimes. I'd like to personally thank our police chief, wherever he is, because uh, he, he uh, with, along with Morristown uh, Medical Center and Seattle, just waved in the back, uh, brought this program to Morristown. We were the first in the state of New Jersey to implement <coughs> this uh, program, and it's important that everyone feels safe and welcome in the town of Morristown. I'd like to again thank the police chief. Our senator touched on it briefly, uh, and those who pay attention to uh, global news, what goes on in this country, uh, we know that there's a lot of divisiveness, divisiveness in our country, and the national climate is somewhat ugly. Morristown hopes to stand in contrast by showing our diversity and our inclusiveness. We can be a leader in this county, in the state, and in this nation. We can be an example, we can provide hope, as Senator Booker has said, no matter what, we always have the power to choose hope over despair, engagement over apathy, kindness over indifference, love over hate. In fact, Morristown did choose hope by electing our first Latino town. I've known David Silver for many years. He's been a liaison to the Latino community for, for eight years. Um, we have a great working relationship, and I am proud that you are joining, and will be honored to serve with you to continue to make Morristown an inclusive and progressive community. In closing, I just want to say that in 2018 is sure to be another banner year for Morristown. While there are so many challenges facing the world today, we can continue to take steps necessary to achieve our stated goal of enhancing the quality of life for all our residents. We have so many corporations and new residents and businesses calling Morristown home that it is my job that of my administration and the town council to make sure we provide a safe, clean, and healthy environment for everyone. 
through Lynn's works and visits Morristown. While we made great strides in 2017 and in the years past, we have to continue to embrace the diverse, multicultural community that we have become. This is the surest way to enshrine our status as a premier community which to live, work, and visit. And we can all do our part. As Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, be a bush if you can't be a tree. If you can't be a highway, just be a trail. If you can't be a sun, be a star. For it isn't by size that you win or fail. Be the best of whatever you are. <coughs> strive to be the best I can to serve this community. I want to wish everyone a happy and healthy new year. God bless you. God bless Marshall. God bless you.